So let's just get into this, will we? Be man of iron. Fucking Necrons shot off my faster than light drive making me crash land on this shitty planet. Fucking Necrons sit there monolith ass on me. Fucking Necrons keeping me under micro machine assault for 15k years. Can't build anything new. Can't do anything. Just lay there with all my toys keeping them at bay. Fucking Necrons. Some shit starts up on high. Don't know anything except for the fact that there are explosions. More explosions. More explosions. More explosions. Comma oma thing hits the monolith. It's unharmed. Fucker. Your micro machines are burned. Launch everything that I got. Gonna have me some sweet FTL and pacify this galaxy. After I deal with fucking Necrons. Be demon traitor titan. Stuck on some dark mechanicum world for dark gods know how long. Get word that some large ass group of berserkers is heading to this shithole of a system that people are only attracted to because some massive fuck all battle is going on. Convince fellow Dark Mechanicum members to give them a lift since we kinda needed to get off our asses and appease the Dark Gods. The moment we arrived in system we were attacked by fucking TAU despite them being on the other side of the galaxy. After an emergency landing on some desolate hive we realized that everything was on fire. I am not exaggerating here everything was on fire. The only exception to this were some loyalist titans in the distance. Dark Gods I already love this place. Be me, Ekelshiaki Youngster Bishop. Had gone into a hab chasing after one of the crashed orc ships. Found even more heretics. The emperor guides me. JPG. These heretics were particularly foul. I ordered my followers to keep their distance and bathe the place in flame. One of them starts yelling the name of my betrothed as he burns, blaming her for his fate. Stupid sicker spies. Wolf. Leave the hab in flames to reunite with the governor's son of a daughter. Guided by my betrothed and my faith in the emperor my forces have become massive. I'm a faithful armed with plasma rifles, penitents armed with flamers, and thousands of civilians press ganged into being wedding planners. Only the best for my buy.jpg. There are some problems though. There are titan legions showing up and ad mech slaughtering everyone. Improper worship is a sin. Heresy. Ogrin are falling from the sky. Mutants should be burned. Heresy. Some bureaucrat claims I'm violating the decree passive with my holy crusade. Balam. Heresy. My administrum bro was involved in some sort of falling accident. May you find peace with the emperor. Rest in peace in peace. Getting reports that some redheaded sororitas is trying to destroy the planet. This all sounds made up. Voxcast. Where are the sisters anyway? Somehow they broke off from my holy crusade. Must have been intimidated by my betrothed. Even so, they would never destroy the holy site where my crusade was founded. And where my wedding is going to take place. Especially not the redhead with the scarf. We had such a connection. I felt it. We shared something. She really made me feel this deep throbbing love for the emperor. Pack up my betrothed in the crusade to head for the sororitas ships. At the very least it will give me a chance to inspire them with tales of how I've wiped out heresy on the planet. Be lion. Sleep. Be battle broth of the most loyal chapter the dark angels. Finally capture kill most of our fallen brethren. Our company has begun preparations for us to leave this sector. Imperial guard commander approaches me and asks us why are we leaving. We're done here. But my lord the thunderhawks engine fled and we took off. All in the day's work. Be commissar. Fucking Dark Angles decided to leave for some reason. Specifically after they butchered all the Chaos Space Marines. Things only get worse when some young bishop who looks like he should still be in school starts mastering a force that defiantly breaks the decree passive to the point where the administratum even catches on. Get a call from command stating that I have to convince convince this bishop and his gf, who I swear is probably some degenerate cultist based off her parents actions, to hand command over to segmentum command. They then proceed flood my regiments with excess amounts of weapons and armor. They even accidentally managed to find some supply ship carrying 100 bane blades. How the fuck do you lose that many bane blades? Last tip I get about the bishop is that he is heading to the Sororitas ship to presumably wave his cock around. It only gets worse when traitor titan legions arrive with even more berserkers. Fuck dot heresy. Be sister Olga of the adept Sororitas. And I can't even. Quick stop on this bumfuck planet has turned into an endless war. Cannonous crazy eyes took off with the repressor again and left me here guarding the ships. Those bitches probably went to get drinks without me again. Always making comments because those skinny sluts are jealous I can actually fill out the uniform. We don't think there is enough cargo space for Olga. Bitches. I legit hope they crash this time. 
Sister Lydia is supposed to be the designated driver but she always comes back drunk. Meanwhile, me and the girls have been fending off armies of orcs, heretics, and an endless supply of admech gilberts. Elder left us alone for some reason. Elves can't handle these curves. Gif. The dead are literally forming hills at the edges of my heavy bolters kill zone. Eventually run out of cultists. Then run out of orcs. Killbots keep coming but even that starts to die down. New assholes start showing up waving around aquilas and holy symbols. That's my outfit and I wear it better. Eggs. Smell like orcs. Armed like marines. Look like gangers that robbed priests. Truly a glorious crusade. Vid. About to add them to the corpse pile when some kid starts yapping through the vox claiming to be a bishop. Thousands and thousands of these bloodthirsty hobos start swarming the ships, calling it a holy site. I never wanted this. Only joined the sororitas because I thought I'd get to hook up with space marine. My uncle works for GW. He said if we reach the bump limit, it's canon. Poor Olga deserves better. Be Steve. Everything's going alright. Tons of enemies that can't shoot for shit. Lots of new ones I haven't even seen before. Green ones. Blue ones. Chitinous ones. Cyborg ones. Some in power derma. Some in robes. Some naked except for wax and paper. Whenever I kill, I take only the best trophies, but I've got enough for almost a dozen different sets by this point. I put on my green set and turn to Ted. Hey, look, Teddy. Wag. I'm a stupid muscled fungus. He just looks back at me. Cease this nonsense abudica. Even the other flayed ones think you're weird. That no good metal topped ass hat my name is Steve and I identify as a fleshling. You're just a CIS species fat robot rust lord that doesn't understand. He just sighs and keeps walking. I feel so oppressed. I'll go kill some more and get a new suit that will make my butt look big. Be slanesh. Be enjoying the good vibes of all the pain and ecstasy of the galaxy. Suddenly get a message from the beak faced twat siege. Destabilize the world and got to blame your dudes for it. Just as planned bitch. The fuck. Dot warp storm. Turn my attention to that system. Apparently my system wide cult is being uprooted by a massive fucking shit storm. Fuck you bird brain dot psychic screech. Apparently my cult was sold out by one of my own because some shota bishop convinced her with the power of love or some shit. Okay that's actually kinda cute but still fuck you bitch. Everyone and their mother is there. Everyone's fighting. Everything's on fire. Like everything. I mean like. Holy shit this planet probably burns more than whatever venereal diseases it get from fucking Nurkle. No more kokogies. No more torture sessions. Just fire and explosion so everywhere. I hundred dot Gellerfield flicker. Oh hey look there's some D elder. They always provide some exquisite pain and hedo. Holy shit these are the most pussy ass dark elder ever. I mean seriously. This is the most pathetic excuse for torture I have ever seen. This barely even qualifies as hardcore BDSM. Where's the agony? Where's the new and esoteric forms of torment? I mean, look, one of the Kabbalites is even wafling the bolter bitch he took as a torture slave. Actually you know what? That's really kinda sweet. My face when. Well passion's passion. Whatever kind it is. Unzips dick dot warp whisper. Beat siege. Good good. Be salamander sergeant. Notice there's a huge mass of civilians in the war zone. Bring myself and the combat squad down there. It's a religious mob of thousands of people. And every. Single. One. Has a flamer. Or token. Or plasmagon. By the emperor dot prayer seal. A squad of blood ravens is there. Two. They're taking the plasma guns for consecration and giving the civilians lascans. Considering how many have died to overheating their guns, it actually kind of makes sense, but we know better. Their sergeant looks my way and nods. I keep a very tight grip on my masterwork bolt pistol. We find a sister of battle screaming at civilians about putting the damn thing on safe next time. She is absolutely surrounded by a ring of xeno corpses, with a bunch of pilgrims gathered around her. I like her already. Approach. The civilians part and give me a path to her. I commend her for watching over these vagrant warriors, as well as her resolve and skill holding what the civilians assure me is a holy sight. She stammers out a thank you, much more timid than she was with the civilians. Angels of death get that reaction a lot. We ask that she stays here, keeping the flock safe while we secure an outlying city that was emptied in the chaos, and to lead the civilians to shelter if they are wounded or unable to fight. She blushes and asks if there's anything else she can do differently that would help us at all. My second in command tells her not to worry. She's flawless as she is. 
She blushes profusely at the compliment and starts breathing a little heavy. We give her the frequency to our Vox and set about our work in the city. City cleared, wounded relocated, and Xena's dead. All in a day's work. Sister asks if she can tag along with us for a while, just until she can locate the rest of her order, of course. I tell her we'd be honored, but the strike cruiser is full of marines. She might very well be the only woman on board. For some reason, she starts breathing heavy again. Be corn. Honestly have no clue if this shit of a fight is my fault. Be junior archival sub assistant Scrivener probationary. Job is to check document header codes for legibility before they get archived by the servitors. If the code's wrong, it gets sent back to the originating department for correction. If it's faded or illegible I pass it to my supervisor, the junior archival assistant Scrivener to either send back or rewrite. He hasn't turned up for this shift. Apparently he called in claiming that he couldn't get through the war zone surrounding his hab block. I perform the right of stand in in front of his supervisor, the junior archival Scrivener. She tells me that if I complete the shift satisfactorily, my remaining 3 years as probationary will be waived. Die under a collapsed stack of documents that some maniac sets on fire while screaming about purging the heretics. Be me, appreciated Kalagan. My dreams came true. Honor Demek boy scooped me up and bolted me into my new body. Now I can crump harder than the hardest knobs. And that's not the only way my plan paid off. This air system was blessed by both Gork and Mork. Got the best fight in any orc could hope for. Soon as we hit the system, Honor the boys thought it'd be good for a left to crash into one of the other ships. Looked like a soft one, all by itself shooting lasers at the planet. Impact sent some of the grots crashing into the walls, made go squish. I never knew how funny that was gun life. Crashed hard into only the planets. Landed smack on top of some of those big spiky humies who was chopping up some of those little shooty humies. Air we go dot wog. Showed the big spiky choppy humies who was the biggest and spikiest and choppiest. It's me. I am. Little shooty humies looked almost relieved when me and the boys started laying into the spiky fellas. Some of them ran away like rots, but others kept on shooting and fragging. Once the spiky humies were done. Showed the shooty humies who the shootiest was. It's me again. Once all the humies was done the boys started looking fair and over go. Samir the grots was crowding me, acting like they helped. Showed them grots who's the stompiest. Also me, my face when it's the color gun life fair me. Be me, tired necron overlord. Wake up to find entire tomb world on fire. Too old for this shit. Literally everything is invading right now. Farron has gone and fucked off back to sleep. Shards fucking damage.org. Decide I've had enough of this collective shit. Haven't even been awake for a day yet. Tell the Cryptex to just unleash the Cetan one everyone. Cryptex asks which one. Fuck it all of them. Not my fucking problem. Let the fleshies deal with it. Go try to figure out if I can drink coffee still. Fucking can't drink anything anymore god damn it all. Be me. Inquisitor Acolyte. Get told by Inquisitor to get the fuck to system in the middle of fucking nowhere. Arrive at system coordinates. By the Emperor.Voxcast. See multitudes of heretics fighting each other. Land on world that is on fire. As in 90% flames. As soon as our warband leave the ship we get assaulted by a rabid band of Bolter bitches. A religious mob with flamers. Or togans. And plasmagans. Some slanishy heretics and some necrons. Get burned. Cut. Melted. Shot, lasered, and bludgeoned to death instantly. Be me, the best seneschal in the business. When my boss finally came to, he was less than thrilled with the situation. We were warzone with a hull full of very specific cargo. Vids for a governor subducted by Xenos. Drugs for a governor who'd been burned by a bunch of bolter bitches. More drugs and some extreme sex toys for a slanishy cult that had also been burned to death. A bunch of junk tech for an executed governor's son and no weapons to sell. How is this my fault? JPG drops me on the planet with a pile of razor dildos. Literally everything is on fire. Elder are scooping up rape slaves. Learn the language for trade. Try to join up with the less BDSM looking ones. They just stare at me, then at the razor dildos, then at me. I know this looks bad. Slanish. End up making a strategic retreat. Try to survive on my own but no one wants to buy my product, and literally every kind of Xenos is on this planet trying to kill each other. Find some Abmech, who immediately open fire. But I know binary.voxcast. Finally find some humans who aren't currently getting killed or trying to kill me. Get press ganged into being a fucking wedding planner for my ex. 
the governor's or daughter. Pick related. These are my new co-workers. Be guard fag. Experienced and trained through combat. Know how to use cover. Know how to use safety setting on Laskin. Survived my fair share of battles. I am a new fag no longer. Everything's gone to shit. Fucking Xenos everywhere. Literally everywhere. Even found a small nid fighting aggression in the latrines this morning when I went to take a dump. Decided to watch for a bit before doing my business and then tossing an incendiary down there. The heat and gases from the fires and weapons discharge have brought this planet up to a 50 degree Fahrenheit average. This used to be a nice world. Before, I thought the commissar was some crazy team killing asshole. Now I know he's the most sane one here. Bolter bitches are the worst. For a bunch of holy warriors of the biggie they sure do spend a whole lot of time boozing and eating. And not fucking sharing any of it. Bloody bitches. Half the time they just start burning us for no reason because they're fucking mad. Seriously considering adopting a shoot on sight policy with those team killing fucktards. At least most of the space marines try not to kill us for no reason and are tall enough to shoot over us. Although those bloody magpies keep stealing our stuff. And the civvy crusade is absolutely retarded. Fear all being led by some schoolboy bishop, and armed with weapons they don't even know how to use. The amount of casualties they cause out of combat is ludicrous because none of them know what a safety is and keeping misfiring the plasma guns that they really shouldn't have. With friends like these who needs enemies, more and more guardsmen keep volunteering for servitor duty, because some retards got the idea in there that it would make them smarter. Literally can't walk without stepping in a corpse or scrap anymore. My feet hurt. Be Canonus Constange of the Ermine Mantle. Hauling around Cyclone Torpedo so we can finally end this insanity. Fuck this planet. Fuck it so hard. Harder than Lydia fucks the first guy who approaches her after drink 5. It's always drink 5, like fucking clockwork. I don't understand it. Like some kind of Dr. Driver M's. Horse switch that flips the moment she passes 08. See some marines in red valiantly fighting. Everyone. I didn't know the sons of Sanguinius were he. White pauldrons. Fuck. The torpedo is already gone. Be sister Lydia. Driving as faster as I can get this repressor to go. Eating up the road like sister Olga eats Crocs burgers. Eating up the road like sister Charlotte eats cock. Eating up the road like sister Therese eats pussy. Suddenly everyone and the repressor is screaming at me. Are your silly bints drunk in combat? They say the cyclonic torpedo is gone and we need to turn around. How the literal fuck did we lose a fucking cyclonic torpedo while driver? Oh fuck did it fall off? Time to fucking chagoris drift this shit. Start spinning the repressor. Oh shit I'm hitting a lot of people. Most of them sound like xenos and heretics though so it's okay. Some of them sounded like they were saying they were inquisitorial agents and wanted the cyclonic torpedo. Well that's not my problem now. Oh fuck we're really kinda close to that tomb. Hit some fucking stupid looking giant necron cannon or something with the back of the repressor. Looks like the half eaten donut Solga leaves behind. We fucking know it's you. It's fucking falling. Fuck I hope it doesn't fall on us. Or if it does that it just fucking kills me. It lands on some necron wearing a cape and some stupid hat. Necrons all start to vanish. Okay yeah, I, I totally intended that kill. Hope the repressor is okay. Be Imperial Guard. Everything has gone to shit. Everyone runs around like a space chicken with its head cut off. Strangely every shithole place I've been sent on this planet is quickly taken with few casualties. What even is this .jpg? No really what the fuck. .jpg. Oh shit I think that cute sister is making eyes at me. Waiting for other shoe to drop .jpg. I don't know when my luck will change but god emperor willing I will fuck that sister before. I die. Private Decker is signing off. My face when imposters. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm really enjoying the sisters of battle in this. I have to say, Sister Lydia has to be my favourite at the moment. But we'll just see where the story goes and where it takes us. Also be sure to check out the links for merch. Got some nice looking t-shirt designs you guys will love. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's weighing down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?